Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the transformer test. Subscribe this channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Transformer test. That performance of transformer can be calculated on basis of the equivalent circuit which contain the four main parameters. In order to draw the equivalent circuit, we need these four parameters for further analysis. One is equivalent resistance R01 or R02. This is R01 means referring primary side, R02 means secondary side. Equivalent reactance X01 and R X02. Core loss resistance R0. Reactance X0. By using these four parameters, we can go for a equivalent circuit. From the equivalent circuit, we can analyze the performance of the transformer. In order to identify these four parameters, we need to do the transformer test. There are two type of tests available, open circuit test or no load test, short circuit test or impedance test. So, these above four parameters are calculated from these two tests performed on the transformer. No load test that is open circuit test, OC test and short circuit test, AC test. In this video, we will see the open circuit test. The open circuit means the secondary of the transformer is kept open. That there is no load connected in the secondary side. That is called a open circuit. Let us consider this transformer. This is the primary winding. This one secondary winding. This is a low voltage winding. Always no load test is performed on the low, no, low voltage winding. High voltage winding is kept open. This is high voltage winding. All test is performed on low voltage winding in case of open circuit test. High voltage winding is kept open. So, this is a single phase supply available, phase and neutral. It is connected through the DPST switch and the variac is available in order to vary the input voltage given to the transformer, variac, nothing but a auto transformer. Here we have ammeter, watt meter and voltmeter. This ammeter used to measure the current flowing through the primary voltage across the primary volt voltmeter. Watt meter will measure the input power. The output side one, one more voltmeter is connected. So, the no load means secondary is kept to open. Now, the supply is given to the primary winding by closing the DPST switch. By varying this variac, the rated voltage is applied to the primary winding. The voltage rated voltage is applied by adjusting this the variac. So, so now the rated voltage will be given to the primary. Secondary is kept open, so there is no current flow in the secondary, but only the no load current I naught will flow through the primary because secondary is kept open, there is no possibility of any load current in the secondary. So, due to that current flowing in the primary also very less that is called a no load current. So, this ammeter will measure the no load current. This voltmeter will measure the primary rated voltage. Similarly, this wattmeter will measure the no load input power given to the primary. No load input power given to the primary. So, ammeter read the no load current voltmeter read the rated voltage, wattmeter read the no load power. Since there is no load available, the so current flowing is very less. So, we can neglect the copper loss. There is no copper loss because only negligible amount of current flowing through the winding. So, the power, power given to the primary winding is refer only the ion loss. There is no copper loss. Since the current is very, very less, there is no possibility of any copper loss the loss due to only ion loss. So, the power read by this watt meter will represent the ion loss of the transformer. So, this because from this ion loss we can able to find the this no load reactance that is the core loss resistant R naught and reactance X naught. Now, we will see the description one by one so that you are able to understand. So, I will explain again the secondary circuit is kept open 
the primary rated voltage is given to the primary winding by varying the variac. So, this ohmmeter will read the no load current, voltmeter read the rated voltage, wattmeter read the input power. Because of less current, the power is only the due to the ion loss, there is no copper loss. So, the wattmeter reading refer the power consumed by ion loss. Now, we will see the description. Open circuit test is performed on the low voltage side of the transformer. It is called as open circuit test because high voltage side is kept open. In this, we are going to find the R0 value that is core loss resistance reactance during the no load and core loss. To the LV side, a watt meter is connected to measure the power consumed. Ammeter is connected to measure the current, voltmeter is used to measure the voltage. Supply is given to the LV side, rated primary voltage V1 is given to the primary side by varying the variac. Now, the, out, the secondary side is kept open, so only the no load current is flowing through the primary winding which is read by the ammeter. The wattmeter read the power input, but at no load, so no load power input equal to only losses that is equal to ion loss plus copper loss. There is no load available. So, the power read by the watt meter refer only the losses ion loss and copper loss, but the no load current is very small. There is very small and copper loss I naught square is very small and negligible. So, the power input refer only the ion loss. It refer only ion loss because current is very less. So, the copper loss also very less that can be neglected. So, the watt meter reads only the power that is referring the ion loss. So, watt meter refers only ion loss, volt meter refers the primary rated voltage. Now, we will see from that how we, how we can calculate I naught and X naught. The volt meter refers the primary voltage, rated primary voltage V1. Ammeters reads the no load current I naught. Watt meter reads the ion loss W naught. So, the W naught can be given as V1 I naught cos pi naught. Cos pi naught is the angle between V1 and I naught. So, cos pi naught equal to W naught divided by V1 I naught. So, from that pi naught, the angle between, phase angle between V1 and I naught, I, I naught can be calculated as cos inverse W naught divided by V1 I naught. Now, we got the phase angle between current and voltage. From that, we can find the two parameters. Working component is nothing but the ion loss, I naught into cos pi naught. Similarly, magnetizing component I mu is I naught sin pi. When phasor diagram is available in the phasor circuit, from that we can obtain this formula. For that, the separate video is available. So, working component, the I naught is having two components, working component and magnetizing component that can be calculated from this formula. This pi naught is calculated here, pi naught is calculated from this reading. This I naught already available, watt meter reading. Now, we got I w and I mu. From that, we can find this resistance and reactance. Reactance x naught equal to V1 divided by I mu. Resistance R naught equal to V1 divided by I w. I w refers the working component and ion loss that refers the resistance, both are in phase. Reactance refers the magnetizing current responsible for magnetic flux that is out of phase, 90 degree out of phase. So, reactance refers the magnetizing current. So, X naught equal to V1 by I mu, R naught equal to V1 by I w. So, in this we discuss about the open circuit test. Our final aim is to find the X naught and R naught that is given by V1 by I, v, I mu, V1 by I w. This V1 is nothing but rated voltage read by the voltmeter. This I w and I mu calculated from these two formula. In this I naught is nothing but no load current read by the ammeter. This pi naught is calculated from this formula. Here we have W naught V1 I naught. W naught is nothing but power the watt meter reading. That is nothing but the power input to the primary winding that refers only ion loss because current is very less we can neglect the copper loss, right. So, from watt meter reading, 
volt meter reading, current ammeter reading, we calculated pi naught, from that we calculated IW and I mu, from that we calculated X naught and R naught. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.